everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Growing Pains. Should we just uh, jump straight in? Yeah, let's Behavior do it. chart. Ethan oh, made me cry this week. I didn't make you cry this week. You didn't? You said something really horrible. I didn't. Say and then we really broke horrible. up in my head. I was a single mother. It was yeah, really apparently she was a single day. mom for a day. I was. And I feel like every girl does this in their head. It's like, oh my God, he's just broken my world in half. He just said that I didn't, I, I didn't do my jobs anymore. Which is cleaning. It's not just cleaning. It's not just cleaning. But that's what I, you, I it was felt talking like about. There was, uh, I feel like there was, in the last like two weeks or so, there's been an unfair shift on... on you on have two doing. jobs. And you're, lead, and you're lead, No, no, no. You do the dishwasher okay, and you do the bins. Do this here. It's not the you same. You want to do this here. And you watch me, you watch me all morning do fucking I'm seven gonna, loads of washing. I'll let you finish. Folding. And I put everything away each night. I cook dinner for you. I cook dinner for me. I cook dinner for Olive. And then I feed Olive. And then I take Olive straight to the bath. I give Olive a bath. I put her to bed. By the time I've come back down, you're sitting on the sofa, been scratching on your balls on there <laughs> for the past hour. And you've not picked up anything in the living room. So from that, I come downstairs every night. I put all of her toys away, hoover both the grey rooms, so both the living rooms, essentially, all while you watch TV. So go on then, please enlighten me what the kitchen was anti-back that, that's what you usually do in the last two weeks you slipped you, you, no. you fell off no you did you fell no, off because i can give you a fucking i can look at my you phone right now take your washing up <laughs> i did do that after you made me cry because <laughs> we no, said there was, a, there was a there was an unfair shift in the last two weeks Again, bins, dishwasher, <coughs> no. don't relate to everything else. No. And I don't like it because you're like, oh, it's an unfair shift. It shouldn't be a shift. If you you see the same, this is what fucks me up, right? You see the same mess and then you go, oh, well, she'll sort it out. And no. you will wait four, no. five, six, seven weeks no. until I've sorted it out and you'll moan at me, but you acknowledge the same mess and you no. won't do nothing about it. I'll tell you my reasonings behind it. Go on in. Because. Woman. No. Because. <laughs> You will do it again. You're a repeat offender. Like the fucking tea bags in the sink, you're a repeat offender. So even if I do it, I don't even get a fucking thank you for doing it. And then you'll just do it again. Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. Shut up. You I do. Will walk out this podcast right now. You do. So, you your... just repeat offend. Okay. And, but you don't get a thank you. <laughs> you oh my God. You're a repeat I, offender. I birthed your child and barely got a fucking thank you. Are you joking me? I cook dinner every night. I barely get a thank you. Actually, we order I every night. No, we fucking don't. When. <laughs> When I cook and stand his dinner, this man will get one fork out the fucking drawer and then close it. So don't tell me about you don't get a fucking thank you. Oh, oh let's skip because that's going to, that's open Pandora's box that has. Jesus Christ. You're a P offender and that's why. Right, tell me you, you love me right now because otherwise the internet's going to be like, oh, they're breaking up next week. You tell me you love me. That was just fucking explosion out of nowhere. You just exploded you on me. Thank you for doing the bins. No, I'm not asking for that. I do my jobs without being fucking asked anymore. You, <laughs> You've got you come two in. Jobs. No, no, You've no. Got two Stop lying. Jobs. Stop lying. Stop lying now because you, you, you're actually taking the piss. You're no you come in, you get fucking eight deliveries every day. You I fucking know. scatter them around the house and never fucking pick them up. Are There's a bag outside my office that is full of a fucking horse whip. It's got a load of fucking Zara things in it that you're going to send back yeah. that you haven't done for two yeah. months. And guess what? All your mess was, that was on there, by the way, and I can't send it back because I miss a date. I actually don't, I really don't. You repeat know. a friend and no, leave things I everywhere. Really don't know what you to come do in the other day that. with an ASOS parcel, got it out of the kitchen side, left it next to Olive's fish tanks that oh, are still yeah. there. By the way, I tried on my new um, bikini in front of Ethan and then he gave me zero reaction and he said, well, why, why are you annoyed? Uh, you really annoyed at me about that for not giving you a reaction. So, yeah. No. Sour, and sour, I'll... sour, 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 sour mood in our household. Right. That. Trending topics. I'll Molly May and again. Tommy Fury. Fu no, it's fine. I don't look good in bikinis. No, right. uh, listen, Molly no, because you're going to try and set me up. Tommy Fury clash weather to send baby band. Oh, fuck. It just spasmed, sorry. To send baby Bambi to school. With Tommy obviously being a traveller, he's had conversations with me about our child not going to school, which is absolutely not optional. Molly declared in Tyson Fury's new Netflix show, At Home with the Fury. I haven't seen I that just, bit yet. No, no, you fell asleep. That, I've seen oh, that bit. Okay. I have seen that bit. Um, oh, well, I feel like this is what you get when you kind of delve into different I think that's their culture, cultures. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Different cultures. But Paris said that her kids go to school. They just come out when they're 13. Yeah. So who's the oldest one? Uh, Venezuela. Venezuela. Vene no, Venezuela. Venezuela is 12 or might be 13 now and was out. 
So yeah, it must be about them. Uh, it's like year seven. I suppose that, that like like she said in the documentary, Paris said she was like her as well. She got taken out to like learn how learn. to like cook, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. To be a lady and stuff mm. like that. So I don't know. You said like, culture in it. Yeah. So as long as they're not leaving school and doing nothing. But then Molly isn't traveller. She's not gypsy, is she? No. So I don't actually know. If and, that's and like, I don't want to offend anyone, I know this but, is going to sound silly. Is Tommy a proper gypsy? This is what I'm saying. I feel like it, it, big, big John. Big is, John living in a field. Big John Fury in a is. Wagon, yeah. And Tyson. Up, but, and then I feel like Tommy's like, I don't know though. I don't know. I feel like Tommy might just be trying to do it so he's kind of keeping that route. I don't know, family. man. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm not one to judge if you are a proper gypsy or not. Uh, but I feel like... like <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Because I, I, they're, they're, they're probably really proud of the fact they're gypsies. Yeah, of course. So I'm not going to say you're not a real one. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, I don't know. It's, well, he's, he's got to know he's dipped into another culture as well. Yeah, because I suppose Tyson you know and I mean? Paris but are... That's they're that's what that's what they know. Yeah, so it makes sense. That's like their, that's their culture. I just feel like culture. listen, if they're going to school anyway, you might as well just send them for the full shift. Yeah, because he's got to respect Molly. Yours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I feel like unless you're as bringing well, her up travel ways, then I know it sounds you've like got to get some stuff from school. Sounds like under the thumb behaviour, but I feel like whatever the mum says goes really. Like I feel like mum pulls around kind of a lot of things. Mum's no best. Exactly. So I feel like if the mum wants them to fulfil the whole school thing. You gotta let them, really. Mm. And I think in today's world, uh, although in today's world, fuck a qualification, yeah, man. It don't really matter, does it? It don't. It don't make. It don't fucking. No one cares. But then again, if Bambi was to get pulled out of school at twelve, is Molly gonna teach her to cook, clean, whatever? Because they. Are... I'm not one to judge. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she will. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I wonder what chores they have. Sparking our last conversation. Well, I reckon they probably have people that take yeah, care of the house. Yeah, there's been, you've told me there's been pictures of a nanny. There was a picture of a nanny at the airport. People are always I... shocked when they say, oh, do you have a nanny? Like, no, I do it. I am mum. Yeah. I'm nanny. I'm everything. Yeah, but, I, but I want that. No, you like it. I love it. I don't like, I don't need someone. That, that's my baby. I think when, when we were talking about... And I about... feel like it's, it's again, it's another, I've, I've seen some of her clips on TikTok of her um, YouTube saying that, oh, she's found motherhood really hard to like join to, like... Um, Oh, she, she's still young as well. I don't know if we're the same age or she's younger. I'm actually not sure. But for me, I've always, like, in my in my mind from being young, I've always wanted to be a mum. Like, yeah. And I always said to my parents, I'm going to be a young mum. Like, I know I'm going to be a young mum. Yeah. Um, so for me, having a baby, that's it. Like, that's all I've wanted. I've got that. I mean, that's mine. I'm looking after it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, I remember talking to the boys about the nanny convo and stuff like that and JJ was like you know what I'm gonna do man I'm gonna get a nanny mm -hmm. and I was like you say that now without an actual real living child with you but yeah. like I much prefer it even though it's fucking hard at times I much prefer it being me yeah, yeah. and being you yeah because then it's just nicer man it's but nicer like when you look back you are you're gonna regret not having this I'm the sole reason you are the way again. you are as well that's what I mean is like there's no external influence like this you are me. You are me. And the problem is as well for me is are you going to drive as safe as what I drive with her yeah. in the car? Do you know CPR? Do you know what to do if she's choking? Mm. Do you know what to do if she's got a rash? All of these things. Do you know as well as mum? Yeah. And that's to, that goes with anyone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not yeah. just a nanny. Well, fuck it, man. Uh, again, uh, there's two sides to every every thing. Qualifications aren't really that important now. Yeah. Maybe if you do take them out of school it could be beneficial it could not be who knows yeah we're not I don't to feel judge. Like, yeah i don't feel like we'd know really no um right gran threatens to knock out karen's diner waiter for calling her a silly bitch oh, i love karen's diner shout out to the people at karen's diner yeah you've been haven't you we've done a video there yeah I feel like you've been twice no no just once oh just once no a couple of the boys have been before but not me yeah but that was my first time no like it it's funny yeah it's funny it does it does seem cool I've they do get brutal i know i can't, i don't know if it'd be my i don't know if you could i don't know no, if i think it. i could hack it i just think oh i'm just not i don't know if i had just, mm, mm. no feeling really about it food is decent as well man oh really is yeah it nice? yeah food okay, is decent cool Right, proper, it's, it's a good job for Moody Megan's though. I was about it? to say, right? Like it is I the would, best job ever. I would fucking excel at yeah. being a Karen oh, Diner waitress. So would. I would be, I tell you what, Karen Payne. If you still exist in fifteen years' time, just let uh, give me a job, man. Yeah. Because I 
He'd uh, in fifteen years he'd fucking. I'd be flying out of the house to go to work. It. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You fucking baldy bastard. You eat that chip. <laughs> it's like dominatrix. I just, I, I think I, I could take out all of my pent up frustrations. Yeah, I think you could. I think that yeah. could be a good one for you. And the best thing is, they're not allowed to do it back. Are they not? <laughs> they, can, they can chirp at you a little bit, but they're not allowed to like. Oh really? Yeah. There's so they, you get given. Customers like, always right though, no. You get given like a rule card when you get there. Oh. And okay, like, so I didn't it's know like that. I, I broke one of the rules. Oh, did you? I threw something at the waiter. Oh, well, but that is not hard. Rude. It was like it was. She kept telling me to write my order down loads of times, and then scrunching up and throwing it. So. I scrunched it up and threw it back at her, but then I realised I've broken a rule. Oh. I struck her with a bit of paper. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, well, that does seem like something that could be frowned upon. Right. Couple spark mass confusion after admitting they switch bedsides every night. No. That's criminal. No. I don't know. For me, That's as a moral. woman, man has to be near the door. Yes. Like, and it's techie for us because we got balcony doors. We do, yeah. And then we got door there and it's a wall. Yeah. So many doors. So many doors. So many points of attack. Yeah, exactly. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, whoever does enter my home, you will die. Yeah. Yeah. Ethan's coming for you. Yeah. Um, I'm ready with I'm weapons. Not. If if he wakes up, though. <laughs> That's a valid one. He's a bloody cause... heavy sleeper. If you see me kick him under the bed, I even wake up. <laughs> help, help. Uh, you are a criminal, though, because yeah. you go out with no socks on. Oh, here we go. Leaving the house today, she went lakeside before we we done this to go and get things for hers and Olive's and her mum's trip. Mm -hmm. um, and she went to leave oh, and put trainers on, black no two ways, just raw dogging her foot in it. Shout out, Alex. No it's way. so grim. So grim. You, raw dogging wellies. I've already brought this up on a previous podcast. It's so vile. I don't have socks. You do have socks. You, you've got fucking loads of socks. You've I got my don't. socks that you put on. I actually don't. I feel like when you do the washing, the only thing that never goes in and never comes out is socks. As yeah. soon as you put a sock in, it's R.I.P. Never seen that again. No, you've got real issues with socks because you, you know, I lose my football socks all the time. <laughs> and that's that. You're probably setting me up. Shh, yeah, probably trying to set me up. Socks. I have to buy so many pairs of football socks. Um, oh yeah, those two. You do buy loads of them. Yeah, because. But they then go. when I go to borrow his socks, I'm wearing sticky socks. Good. And it's it's really uncomfortable. I don't like it. They're fun. They're oh, gripping. I don't like it. I don't and, like and get, it. Get more traction. But listen, I've got Crocs now, so I don't need to wear Crocs. Crocs socks. acceptable. That's fine. Fine. You see me in Crocs for the foreseeable. You know why? I'm still. I'm a little bit scared of Crocs now. Oh, so, can I tell the story? What? Because Ethan, he, we was watching um, a YouTube series, not going to say it, no promo, um, <laughs> but it, everyone wears Crocs, right? And he was like, oh, I really, really like them. They look, they look swagger, they look cool. Ones, yeah. they? Chunky Crocs. And then, um, so I bought in them for Christmas yeah. and they're like the platform Crocs, the cake and yeah. a few inches feel like what it's like to be six foot and all of that. He's loving it, right? Until he was at Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool Street Station and... He was getting a bit close to uh, the train leaving and it would beep, 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 beep. So he ran and then he slipped his ankle on his heel, bless him. And he went, ah! When I'm telling you now, yeah. And he rolled his ankle in a hill for I'm the first I'm telling you now, ladies. see the right angle that this microphone's on here, yeah? So my foot and ankle were like this in this platform crop. And I've let out the most, it was horrid on his own by the way i wasn't there yeah horrid yelp my ankle was like that on the floor i don't know what happened yeah so i'm still and they was in sports mode there's no safety on those things and like that croc right there's not much fall damage i was gonna the, get the chunky croc one. i've come off my ankle is on a three-foot platform <laughs> yeah oh and grim. the girls pretty much wear minimum six inch on a night out yeah i was lucky to not Go be on that train with a broken ankle. It felt like I'd broke it anyway. I was hobbling. I was hobbling it's home, didn't I? Very funny. I come in the house like that, didn't did, I? I was yeah, like, yeah, he was actually ow. limping because he rolled his ankle. Bless him, first hurts, time in hurt, heels. Hurt so much, man. You gotta love it. So, but you've you've now. I think they're down the stables. <laughs> they are. I haven't worn them since. No, you haven't. Do you want them back? Actually, because no. I need to clear out my tack no. room and I've no. just Thanks got loads present. of your shoes in there. Thanks for the present, but no. Oh, great. It's a waste of money. Is anyone size nine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyone want that from? What size ten, actually? I am. It just always changes. Check the fucking shoe. You're actually a nine and a half though, aren't you? Nine and a half in some, ten in some. Yeah. It depends on the fit. Yeah. Depends on the fit. So I just never know what to get. Yeah. Sometimes it's nine and a half, sometimes oh. it's a ten. Right. Scarlet Mofa hits back at cruel mum shamers after sharing sweet pics of newborn. Oh. 
As uh, you should. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think mum shaming's cool. I'm against no. mum shaming. No. no. Uh, mum shames after sharing sweet pics of her newborn. So it would have been... It's a brand new baby, about man. Her baby, no. It's a brand new yeah. baby, man. This is what I'm saying. I'm actually really glad that Olive's face and whatnot is not on socials anymore. Yeah. I'm actually really happy about it. It feels like a bit of a relief. Because again, you invite everybody in. There's no rules. There's nothing to say, oh, you well, have it's, to it's, be nice. It's such a but shame, that's though. Your pride and joy. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't let anyone it hurt you. It's a shame because, again, like, I feel like we're very normal. We're yeah. not like. Oh, we're so normal. That's why we did. We'll argue on the podcast. Yeah, because we're normal. <laughs> we will argue on the podcast. We will shout each and other. By on the, the podcast. way, we are very happy with each other. Yeah, exactly. Very happy. Yeah, I will marry her one day. Yeah, and, so. and my mess. Eventually, yeah. Exactly. That's the one thing. You've got to think about it, lads. I'm in for, and ladies, I'm in for a lifetime of ASOS packages fucking scattered around the house. And I'm in for a lifetime of bum, bum asshole scratching. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but mine's fixable with a cream. Yours is not. It's which you Yours won't buy. Yours is not. I wish there was a fucking magic cream that made you tidy. I wish. I'd be smearing you in it. I'd be bathing you in it's it. It's called shared bank accounts, darling, and I'd retire and clean. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> That's the magic little spell. Anyway, because we're so normal, yeah. again, normal people get to share their child's like life or whatever. Like, yeah, like, uh, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? So sad. Hundred percent. I actually do. Like when Olive took her first steps, as we mentioned in the last. I want to shout and rave yeah, about it. Like, like, oh my god, look yeah. what my little girl's done. Just done. She's so clever. Yeah. But then again, we're, it's like, um, it's so sad. It's actually really sad. We are actually in a unique position, though. Not everybody has. Millions of yeah, people. Yeah, not everyone this shit. has that like, a million followers. No, exactly. Just, like, so I do get it. What is it? Is it called like <laughs> nepo babies? Nepo, ba nepo babies. What? It's when their parents are. That's what it's called, no? Yeah, nepo, yeah. Babies. nepo babies. Uh, so a nepo baby is when you are the child of someone famous. Ah. Yeah. Bazinga nepo. Um, that's what I'm. Well, no, but I'm. I'm not nepo because my mum wasn't. I'm not from a famous. No, but she's bazinga nepo. She is, oh, yeah, she's a Nepo, Nepo she's Olive. She's a Bez yeah. Nepo. Nepo Olive, yeah. Yeah, yeah the Sideman Nepo. Yeah. yeah. All, all of our kids will end up... Okay, it size my ankle, I mean, Nepo. Isn't it, there's like a certain rule, if they if they do like the same stuff that their parents did, they're a Nepo baby. Oh, Cause they're, following cause they, the footsteps. Because like, she is already... Someone, someone said the other day, um, I can't remember if it was in my DMs or whatnot, or publicly, I actually can't remember. And they was like, oh, it would be sick if Olive, when she was older, reacted... To these, to these podcasts, these yeah, podcasts. Yeah, 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 and I thought that would actually be quite cool to be it fair. It would be quite funny. Um, but yeah, I I've always said know. to you. I've always said to you though. I think that that is the stipulation: is if they go into the same sort of thing that you're doing, because it's already it's already just there for them to do it. Doing, uh, imagine yeah. if everyone's doing it now. Everyone's definitely yeah, going to be doing yeah. it again. But um, I've always said to you that, haven't I? I've said I'm going to find it really weird to when she starts speaking and they're going, oh, daddy, why are you on the TV? How do you explain, and when we're out in public, daddy, why are people taking pictures of you? Because daddy you got a fuckload of money. How do you explain that to a, like, hard. such a young brain? Uh, how do you explain it, man? My job. Because I know, like, my the, job is to entertain people. You see in the Fury documentary when, mm. when even the kids say it, they're like, yeah, it's a bit annoying because yeah. like my dad. Yeah, I feel that. That bit was quite sad. Yeah. I feel that. So they're, they're in my head, I, I know he's fucking, he's world heavyweight of the, He's he seems way, to enjoy it he's way clear mm. of me mm. but even still on the small level that we get it I, I can imagine for yeah a kid a kid's brain is like stop taking me away from my dad yeah of course especially if you've got limited time so, you know what I mean yeah I suppose and then at home every now and then we might watch like a Sidemen video or something like that yeah. so and then she's going to be like oh daddy's on TV with his yeah. mates again I just think you say I entertain people and people like me someone shook <laughs> your hand last week yeah so someone shook my hand last week um yeah. In Lakeside, when yeah. I was shopping, um, bless him, and he was like, "Oh, Bazinga's my favourite side." Oh, Lynn. bless, that's really and I was nice. Like, Aw, I'll let him know. That's nice. I've actually had loads of like nice messages recently. Oh, yeah, because like, you was crying on the internet. I think so. Yeah, yeah I think, I think my pity vote worked. <laughs> yeah, please, so sorry for me. <laughs> yeah, my pick me, pick me behaviour worked. Love me, choose me. <laughs> yeah, um, no, but actually, thank you very much. It made my yeah. week better. Yeah, I just think it's um. The people that have always liked you have just kind of spoken up. Just yeah. Like, it's so easy for older people to just watch the video. I, like, right. I always forget, like, in my head, I'm still like, oh, with the sidemen that just played, like, these games together and they had mm -hmm. whatever. Where, and then you remember, right, no, we actually nearly have 20 million people that watch us now. Yeah. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to be nice. No, no, not everyone... Not, not everyone's going to think like I'm you. nice. Of course. Not in that batch like of people. You. So... If you don't like me, fuck you. I'm going to continue to oh, be myself. Oh, that's not going to go well for you, is it? Game's a game, man. 
you're giving me energy right now. Yeah, true. This is this is Faith Kelly talk. This is. Um, Kate was going. Sorry. Yeah, the Kate is going. It's vibrating me now. It's still vibrating. It oh, just wait. doesn't stop if you turn it off. By the way, it just yeah, keeps I know. Go it. Um, so answer me, bitch. Well, yeah. Let's continue. Yeah. So it was actually at Scar- Scarlett Moffat's baby. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't, if, if you don't see, mum shame. If you, yeah, don't mum shame. It's, it's no. like that's especially if they're first time pride mothers. And joy. Yeah, if they're first yeah, time they mothers, are. you should never mum shame. Exactly. Let her, let her live, man. Right. Should I lose my head? Yes. Let's go. Me. Uh, fucking tea bags in the sink. Yes. Yes. Only having two jobs. Yes. <laughs> Me, my cousins and sister have a group chat. Two weeks ago, my cousin put a screenshot onto the chat of an Instagram DM. That DM was from a bloke that I've slept with. <gasps> she then proceeds to tell me that she likes all of her pictures. <gasps> she was almost gloating. <gasps> Should I lose my head? Mm. No. Nah. I don't think so. This it's one's like for all. Just because you've porked, yeah, doesn't mean that you should have jealousy or whatever. Yeah. Like the fact that he's trying to pork again, he's trying to pork a new person. I, uh, no. Yeah, you do. You, you don't him. lose your head. Listen, there's, there's not a free. You're not a boyfriend. You're not a girlfriend. Yeah. You never was. You shagged him. He's now trying to shag your mate, cousin, whatever the situation is. Get over it. Yeah. I, and if he's leng, I'd be if if a leng ting was liking my pics, I'd be gloating. I'd be like, oi, look. I must be doing so right because she's after me. Would you? Yeah. Oh. Um, it's alright. I've just got loads of men that like my pictures now. So. Well, here we go. Back to the men. Love men. Anti woman, this man. I love apparently. men. Um, <laughs> <laughs> love men. Go. You'd fully glow. If I was a, si- a single man and a, oh, and single a, man. Okay. If I, was, I not now. now. No, 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 no. If, that's so why my saying, face was at oh, pre you. Pre you. Pre you. Active Instagram Ethan. Yeah. Posting thirst traps. Yeah. If I noticed a baddie was liking me up. Yeah. Of course I'd be like, oh, look at her, bruv. Really? Liking me up. Really? Do you yes. check your likes? I used to. Do you? Do I was you? active. Really? I was active on the Instagram. It was looking for clunge. I followed you. You did follow me. Yeah. Was you looking for clunge when you followed me? Absolutely. <gasps> <laughs> well, was I, was I not? I saw you. I thought, yeah, she's laying. Yeah, if we ever, if we ever tell our first sex story, by the way. No, yeah, there's no need for that. <laughs> I won't go there. <laughs> um, it's a miracle you're still there, to be honest. This is what I'm saying. Well, when I say I had to make the first moves, I had to make the first moves. Um, Bless him, he's got nervous a game. Soul, man. Yeah, it's a virgin game. Right. <laughs> virgin <laughs> Riz. <laughs> yeah, virgin Riz, literally. <laughs> I'd love to tell it, but... Do you want me to read these? Because it's quite difficult listening to you read. (laughs) We've not even got to the long bitch yet. No, no, I know. But I've... (laughs) Sure, I'll let you have one. Thank you for... Oh, Oh my God, my arm's well long. This is a good long one. Are you ready? Or are you just looking at your arm? look how long my arm is. Yeah, I've just got shortest limbs on planet Earth, so... Oh, my God, yeah. And hands. I don't. I've got, got no look. Feminine. That hands. hand is like that's a normal man man set of hand. It's yeah? not. I'm She's just been conditioned. Picture. She's been conditioned to her father, by the way, who is there's giant DNA in this man's body. His forearms are like as thick as that. Like they're just fucking massive, mate. They're huge. His hands are gigantic. So you are conditioned to seeing this hand for 20 odd years of your life. We will put a picture. I'll get a picture of my oh, dad's phone, hand. Oh, your phone. Fucking, I know your password anyway. So, uh, <gasps> How do you know? I've never told you. you told me it before. Uh, right. <clears throat> when I first got with my girlfriend, I noticed a few controlling signs, but chose to brush them off as her liking me a lot. She's way better looking than me and 100% the best I'll ever get. However, as the years have passed, these controlling things have got worse. <laughs> you wrote this, didn't you? No, I didn't write this. Uh, most things I do, she has an issue with, e.g. going to watch football or drinking. <laughs> this might be this might be in me. I've never had a problem with you doing that. Don't start rumours because people hate me already. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to go periods without doing things I want, such as not seeing my mates for months or going to watch football at all last season. I tried coincidentally doing the whole permission slip thing you guys spoke about on an app, <laughs> but nine times out of ten she changes her mind last minute and I'm forced to cancel plans. She wants to get more serious like moving out, but I just don't know. I do love her, but I think I need an outside opinion. 
Oh, bless him. It's I respect taking you taking advice from our relationship. I respect too. you uh, grafting for the permission slip. The permission slip comes with like, you've got to understand, as a man, we get away with murder anyway, right? We do. Like, I can get away with doing nothing all day and watching the football if I really wanted to. Yeah, I mean, we have broken up in my head, but sure. If that's yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, I can get away. If I really want to, I can get away with it. That's sarcasm. But so, when you do want to do things, you've got to see that there's a currency system in place. There's a currency system in place. Go on, because you, you've just said that you do nothing all day and now you want to... No, I'm saying I could. Oh. I'm saying I could. That's what I'm saying. We get away with do, not doing much anyway. Yeah. So, when you do want to do something... Help. There's a transaction in place. So if I want to do something on a Thursday, like I did last week, play golf, throughout the week, I've got to be on point, man. Yeah, and that is throughout the week. You don't get one day back. No, no, you way. can't just like smoke it for one on, day. On on that day. Oh, darling, you look yeah. lovely. You, you can't just smoke it for one something. day. Yeah. you got to understand, man. As much as like the, the Andrew Tates of the world or whatever will be like, no, man, make your woman do this for you, blah, 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 blah. That's what everyone says in the comments about yeah. us, by the way. It's no, I know. Crazy. So the Andrew Tates of the world that do think that there's men need to go back to how they used to be. Women need to get their place as well. Women do so much, man. Mm. You got to respect a woman. They do lots. So when you want to do so, man, just just be, just be act up for a week and I you'll think, be yeah. fine. I've, I think every, like, do you actually help? Listen, I get it as well. If you're young, she, wants, she just wants to spend time with you. Maybe invite her to the football match. I know you said you want to go I've done that boys. before. She, and you've got no interest in it. <laughs> There's, we got scoped in, a, in the background of Louisa's picture before. Oh, this thing from X Factor. Yeah, so she was like, Louisa, X-Factor. if you scroll, she's down a West Ham fan. She's got West Ham picture. <laughs> and if you see. If oh you, my God. I'm going to send the screenshot to put in this episode. If Faith's got a me. face like a smack fucking ass. She could not look any more interested in being at a West Ham game. No, it was leaving and we lost. No, we context. was on the way there. This was no, on the way. No, 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 Faith, it was on the way there before the fucking game. It's walking across the bridge to go, I've yeah, spat, but I've, to, go to the game. I think I just, at West Ham games, it's a bit long for me because I just end up walking in on my own for most of it except once asking you for pictures. Did you? Wait, there's been a You're With time, your dad and your brothers as yeah, well. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I'm, I'm obviously walking with you, aren't I? And they're walking together. A lot of the times, well, did this has happened, mm. I walk with you and I'm talking... I turn grabbed, yeah. and he's not there. No, where, where's that? How long have I just been talking to myself, looking yeah. like a nutter? So if I'm walking around, yeah, no, West Ham. Like is, that, uh, it's because I've lost my boyfriend to someone. West Ham's a hot spot <laughs> for me, so this is what I'm saying. So walking in, no, I probably haven't had um, the greatest mood. What I will say though, King, is because remember you are a king. Mm-hmm. Once they fucking sign that permission slip, they're done for. So this this bullshit of her going back on it nine times out of ten. Uh, 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 not today. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, listen, I feel like you have got to give um, your partner time in your relationship. You do, yes. You can't just keep men in the house. It's not a dog. You have to let them out. No, men are really like... I feel like, again, the more you kind of say yes to your man, and this is probably quite toxic, the better they are with you. Because I feel like... Am I toxic? Because I just feel like you'll love me more if I let you out and do what you want. No, but the thing is, is I don't want to go pub or anything like that. I don't actually as much as like we've got this set up I do enjoy maybe after the football going for like one or two yeah. but I'm not like a, I want to go down to the pub every night Yeah. I just like playing football and playing golf I, I like just being able to do my hobbies yeah. or interests and so, I just feel like if I didn't look, it's fucking annoying you have to do it so many times a week <laughs> like most normal people do it twice but sure do it eight Again, and, and, and that comes down to me being a privileged individual that gets time to do what he wants yeah but you don't so because I do have time to do what I want I want to do it but this time is very selective. Well, I have to book things out with Ethan because obviously I'm a mother. And I say, Ethan, can you have the baby? And he goes, I've got no time this week. And I said, okay. Because sometimes I don't. I said, when can, when, when's your next full day? When, when can I book out yeah. in your schedule? And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm going out for an hour. Oh, sorry, where did this hour just come from? Yeah, they do pop Ethan up. Ethan has so many hours in the week, but they, they are for up. you. Uh, if she wants to get serious with you, she's going to have to understand that you need your own time as well. Yeah, I just feel like if you're young, um, and I feel like this is like 21s so and under. Yeah, I don't know really. how old you are really um, for this. But. Actually, for girls, I'd say 20 and under. So I feel like 21s. Because don't really, like, he is saying she's a rocket as well. Oh, she's 10 10. Yeah, bring her out then, showcase her off. Just, maybe you're not. That's what I, I got away most. with taking you to golf. We played nine holes. We did. It's fucking awful, but. Yeah. 
it was good. I got yeah. to do something I enjoyed. Do you know what you do actually kind of enjoy it? I just feel like maybe it's a because uh, me in my old relationship and being insecure, um, I don't like being left out and no. I don't like being without that person. No, you are a lot nicer say. when I do invite you to things. Yeah, because I w- um, most times I would like to come, yeah. not to be like possessive or controlling. I'm, ne- I'm ne- never like that with you. Please no. vouch for me. Um, like Blink, I need just, help. <laughs> <laughs> No, you say it now. Oh, I'm joking. I'm playing. People already know. People that don't take us literally know it's a laugh. Yeah. But the people that literally take our words for gospel yeah. I understand think- that I don't have any pain behind my eyes. I'm a very happy human. <laughs> I just think, um, yeah, I like spending time with you outside yeah. of just being parents and yeah. relationship. I kind of like speaking to other people as well, like your football Whoa. team, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's this nice. So yeah, just invite her out and see how that goes. Yeah, try involving once, her as well. Then and yeah. once she meets your friends, maybe and sees they're Might actually okay, yeah. and they're not like riz riz maniacs. Yeah, not type jizzles of the world. Not not type jizzle. <laughs> type jizzles have got game. Right, not that, no, not that I know. I overheard him on the phone. I overheard him on the phone. Oh, yeah. He was on the phone, and she was like, "Oh, where are you?" And he was like, "Um, uh, he was like, no, he was like, you don't need to know where I'm at. What are you doing now?" And I was like, "Oh my god, well, mysterious." It's, yeah, yeah, mysterious Riz. Um, but yeah, the one thing I will say, if you've got the permission slip, fucking run to the hills with it. There's no turning back on that permission slip. Even if she tries to, tell her to get fucked. She's already hard work, mate. I don't know if that's the right... Well, don't give me the picture slip and turn back then, you silly cow. <laughs> this is what I have at home all the time, by the way. <laughs> His personality is coming out. Once it's signed, it's done. That, that is in law. Yeah. It's signed. Um, again, we were talking about this on the way here. People mu- must genuinely think that I get a bit of paper out. Oh my God, yeah. that TikTok on it our... went viral, We yeah. went viral and that is the only one that's got 2.2 million views. Yeah. Everyone against me in the comments. Oh my god, she's such hard work. Bet she doesn't get a permission slip on the horses that she buys. Blah blah blah. I'm like, oh my god, it's not actually a bit of paper. Yeah, it's the verbal. Hey, <laughs> I want to do this. Is this all right with you? Oh, okay, sure. Like, I'm a little bit busy today. If you could just help out here, that would be great. Before you go, yeah. done. That's the permission slip. Yeah. It's not Ethan coming up to me <laughs> in a little paper, office shaking his hands. <laughs> please. Please, can I see my friends? <laughs> Is there, and then I go, hmm. No. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Cut him out. It's fine. Crazy. All right, should we go on the next one? Yeah. Should I lose my head? Okay. My ex that I dated for seven years and can't seem to let go of, I'm sleeping with him and still seeing him often. However, I got told he slept with a good girlfriend of mine multiple times. He was in a bit of a situation ship with this girl and he's also kissed a couple of my other mates as well. That's he he's a total around, scumbag, but I can't let go. Ah, uh, you're just like... You must still be young. Possessive. You must possessive. still be. You must still be young because I feel like when you're young, toxic relationships are like a little bit of fun, aren't yeah. they? It's like, oh my God. It's like, a great time. Like, yeah, like we was together, but now we can't be and you're kissing my mates, but I can't. I just want to fuck you. Do you know what I mean? Like that was better. When you grow up a bit... That was very East Enderish of you. When you grow up, you probably realise I'm being a fucking idiot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, of course, I feel like you're defo under 19, for sure. Again, you might be 28 and we're just slowing you here, but um, yeah, honker. Um, can't let go. What? No, let go. Yeah, let go. You already There's know. like no advice you for this. Should I lose my head? Know. You already know. You should that... lose your head at yourself. Like yeah. this is a stupid question to send in about should I lose my head? Yeah. You are the reason for losing your head. Yeah, like honestly, I feel like it, you're just attached to him. Um, You don't like him. You don't love him. But now he's around your friendship group that you want to be the main, main thing of the friendship group. Mm. Like, you're standing no ground. You look like a clown. Oh, Jesus, go off. What? You're just fucking... You just what hit her with a fucking 50 cal bullet. Yeah, ba, 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 yeah, ba, 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 girls ba. don't listen. Tell them again. Girls don't listen. Tell it, And say it again. I listen. No, just say it again. Girls don't listen. Yes. There you go. You got it in fucking gospel. No, about to men, they don't listen. When they think they're in love, no, they, they do, think yeah. they're in love. And yeah. it's like, babes, you're not. No way. This is clown energy. Go and fuck his best friend. The end. Right. oh my god we was having this conversation the other day and it's something about like oh I can't remember what it was like but I was like oh if he hurts you you just go fuck his dad Ethan was like hey unlucky yeah <laughs> he's fuck. like good luck finding my dad yeah I mean listen <laughs> and it's like the only no dad joke that I've actually laughed at it was, was just so perfectly it. done. Thank you very much. Yeah. My delivery was... It was on point. The delivery was on point. Go see, guys, I Don't make her laugh, one. you see. Yeah. I may have virgin wrist. He was such, such virgin. I may have a lazy eye. 
but I make her laugh, and that's how. If you're funny, you get into a girl's knickers. Yep. That's, All right. That's how it goes. Well, lose my head segment is done. Can I read next? Oh God, please. You, really? Yeah. Oh, here we go, everybody. Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Have you changed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diet. What's this say? Oh Gil, my God! Gil it's Emmers. Right. I'm no, joking. I'm literally pulling my leg. I'm pulling your leg. Di I know it's. I know it's dilemmas. I'm yeah, literally yeah. joking. God. Right. I'm literally joking. <laughs> Would you rather football on the TV every night, but you have to watch it? You can't go on your phone, or you have to follow Ethan around the golf course every time he plays. You can join in if you like, but only if Ethan lets you. So would I rather watch it? Let me read this because I feel like you've <laughs> fucked it. Just give me the fucking thing. Because I, I really feel like you've butchered this. Okay. Would you rather football on the TV every night, but you have to watch it, you can't go on your phone, or you have to follow Ethan around the golf course every time he plays, you can join in if you like, but only if Ethan lets you. Football. You'd rather sit and watch a football, no phone. 90 minutes, yeah. But you don't... When we played nine holes, we was there three hours. That's because of you. I don't know about that. We <laughs> was there a long time. Yeah, it was really bad. So if I'm watching you do a full 18, that's my whole day done. For what? I may get to play, no? I'd let you play. Thanks. It would be awful, but it, that might take us like Thanks. nine hours. Um, this is what I'm saying. I'd rather just 90 minutes, I'll watch it. Yeah. I yeah. get quite involved with football sometimes. Only sometimes, but you every now and then you'll be like, oh, this is just shit. Or like, it's not even West Ham. What are you fucking watching it for? It's because you're fucking good football, man. No, it, love will, it will be like AC Milan and someone. Yeah, like, fantastic. Not Champions even League. Of. Champions League. It's great football. European nights. Yeah. And also, it's one of them things, like midweek, the week is so boring without football, man. I fucking love the weekend. Mm. The weekend is like my prime. I feel like alive on the weekend. Yeah. Because there's football. I get to play football. I'm just engulfed in all the things I love. It's amazing. Yeah. So then when in the midweek, when they start putting the Champions League on, it's like a little fucking ball tickle of like... Yeah, ball. I was going to say, Ethan literally gets a boner over this. I love stuff. football, man. We literally be sitting on a sofa with a semi. Yeah, rodding up over <laughs> brick trap over some football man. Um, yeah I think I'd probably rather rather watch football mm. I do love golf at the minute and I would like to play lots but you do yeah well, well I, I learn lots at the minute mm. I don't play lots right would you rather lose your home gym but you have unlimited permission slips to play golf fuck or never play golf again but you can eat what you want and not put on a single bit of weight. I already know you're choosing the second one. Yeah. I already know. He's a fat kid at heart. So like, He's so fat in his head. In my life, head. right, there's a priority list. Love going to the gym. Love food. Love golf. Love football. <laughs> love love that. Love you. Thank you. I was going to uh, say, am I on there? <laughs> love you. But there's just something about food. <laughs> Literally, I, I bought Caesars oh. last night and I hardly ever, well, I never buy dessert off no, the restaurant never. that I've ordered. But Very thought, naughty. Yeah, it was naughty, but it looked nice. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, it was that millionaire's bit of chocolate millionaire's cake. Millionaire's cheesecake or something. Oh, yeah. it was so good. It was so nice. Um, I left like one tiny little little nugget of cake. I come down this morning. Ethan, where's that gone? Not that I was saving it, it was just on the side all night, stagnant, because I'm messy. I've and eaten Ethan it. was like, Oh, uh, did you want Never that? guess what happened to and the I lemon drizzle no. cake as well. That did you eat the, all of that? It was in the fridge. You ate all of it. I ate the entire fucking thing across two and a half days. Oh my goodness. No, Ethan can just pack away food. Like, he'll be in bed and he'll be like, I want a snack. Do you know what it is? It's, it's because it's so like, I have currently today. I've consumed 800 calories. So I have, Better I've gold in it today. I've had a coffee, an energy stick um, yeah, you've from gold, Arbonne you've, and I've had a <laughs> you've gold um, hard. protein bar. You're Thanks for that. Yeah. Oh, you said what I'm very much. Yeah. You've gold in it hard. Yeah. I've almost I'm, gold in it. I'm actually annoyed I'm not thin. This is bad for right. me. Like having 800 calories by half seven is mental oh so yeah like, I've had two Nurofen though because I've got a headache I'm due I'm due to scram <laughs> by the way I'm fucking starving oh oh yeah we, Ethan actually said he'd take me out um, but I mean we got food, an ill child get home we've got yeah. an ill child so it yeah, might, might be gone Next out the window um, but yeah it's got to be the food man I, I, 
Hundred percent. We would. If I got to pack down that fucking drizzle cake, yeah, for no cost at all, I'm eating eight a day. No food, or I'm not going to say no sex. No blowjobs. What I've got to pick between no food, or, what, what, no, no gaining weight from the food, or no. Blo what are you saying? No. Uh yeah, actually. Mm, so what? No gaining weight. I'm no gaining say, weight. I say no food. No gaining weight and eating what I want. Yeah. Versus. No day jobs. Well, I'm picking the food. Are you? Yes. Really? I didn't, I fucking love eating but so much. But you love low jobs as well. I do, but Faith, I don't you think I love eating so much? I've never heard a noise out of your mouth eating like I do blow jobs. <laughs> All right, there's no need for this. You're just fucking exposing me now. <laughs> Listen, I'm very partial to a bit of noddy. I quite like a bit of noddy. Uh, however. There's nothing like food, man. Like, I'm telling you now. If I could get away every day of my life of just packing down what I wanted, do you know how many fucking... Okay, what if... Do you know how many tubes of Pringles I get through in a day? Unholy amount. Yes. What if the food you're eating still makes you feel shit, though, and it fucks all your stomach up still? Don't give a fuck if I'm really? not getting it. If I'd look like this, if I could keep a physique and eat what I wanted and felt like shit, I don't give a fuck. Because you don't even eat what you want now and the, the sounds no. I hear out of that toilet are fucking... It. <laughs> I literally have a text on my phone from like this morning like why am I upstairs in our bedroom and I can hear your fucking farts ringing around the toilet downstairs I'm, I'm focusing on my uh, protein goals in a minute but obviously with being a father and doing loads of things I can't always get like the 200 grams of protein I want a day so I have to supplement in protein shakes and protein bars which cause big issues in here Real big issues, and I think that was the last it's of it. Explosive though, yeah. all the time. Uh, but by the way, I'm picking food ten times out of ten. Okay, well, don't go too into it. Bloody no, hell. no, I'm just saying if you was to offer me any dilemma, like ten times out of ten, eat what you want, don't gain weight. I'm w I'm choosing it every time. No football or you can't what? No, play it. You can't, can't play, play it or no blowjobs. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the. I want to play football. Am I just shit at blade job? No, you're great. You're great. But you're, you're like I said, you're taking away the things I actually love doing on a weekly basis. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is funny because we don't do it on a weekly basis. No. <laughs> but what I'm saying okay, is... Okay, what if you was to guarantee the blade job three times a week? Well, if I scored goals, I would be getting them. Oh, yeah. We have a little rule, <laughs> which is Dude, actually This is actually funny. bad, though, because now this it's going to be exposed. my brother's playing, like, all three of my brothers playing this team, by the way, so it's yeah. actually not a great story to put yeah. out there. My dad watched on the sidelines. However, oh, no. please don't reshare this one on TikTok. Let's just Please. keep this one inside the pod because they don't watch it. Um, if Ethan scores a goal... Um, I get a blowjob in the bag. Blow yeah, because he don't ever score. <laughs> no, I do. I scored fucking four last season. Four last season, I put them in a the bank. So I, on a rainy day, I might use all four. He did never cashes them in. Ever. Maybe yeah. I am just. Shit. I scored He's four last. I in. scored four last season. He goes, and there was I'm good ones. I'm saving them. I'm saving there them. There was good ones. I got. I said it should count for goals and assists. Really. Um, Get handy for an assist. But yeah. Anyway, like food. You've got my brain on it now because I've only eaten 800 calories. All I'm thinking about <laughs> is food at the minute. He's salvating. Yeah. Like and also see when I go Nando's and I get fucking. Butterfly, corn on a cob, broccoli. No, no, no. Would you be it would a be, sunset burger? No, I fucking hate burgers. Really? That's amateur sunset for you. Sunset burger. It would be thighs, peri chips, halloumi. That's my order. That's it would be, literally my Yeah, order. and I, I have to sit and watch you eat it <laughs> like a cuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had a little tiff the other night. Did we? Yeah, only a small one. Um, but usually I only eat three out of the four chicken yeah. fries from Nando's and Ethan Always eats my last one yeah. because we wasn't really like overly talkative to each other. We wasn't lovey dovey. No, we wasn't lovey dovey at that moment in time. Um, I had rubbish to put in a bin, so I put all the rubbish in the bin yeah. and then I put the chicken fire on the top. Did you actually? Yeah. That's toxic. I wasn't going to leave it for you to eat. It's been mean. That's really, that's actually quite tough. That, that's hurt me. Yeah, and it's hurt you because it's a bit of food. Yeah, I fucking love food, man. <laughs> Genuinely. What's your favourite meal? If you was to die tomorrow and they said you're dying at 6pm. I don't PM, like these talks. If you're dying at 6pm, what are you eating at 5? Your last, what are you having? Well, touch wood because I yeah, feel like once you put wood. things out to what the you universe, having? it happens. Um, probably on the bab. On the bab? Yeah, I really? love, love a bit of Korean cuisine. Oh, mate. I'm I love a, it, don't I? I'm having... 
I'm having. Oh my god, I had the best peach tea of my life. This is so it's so shit. You're gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna die. You run a peach tea and on the bab, do you know how shit that is? Yeah. I want the salt and pepper squid from uh Giggling Chai Wu. No, oh. from Chai Wu. Oh, that is good. I want the fucking salt and pepper squid from Chai Wu. I want two portions of it. I then want I want the black cod. I want I want the fucking This is a privileged man, but I want the, the lobster from Chai Wu as well. Some people may not even know what black cod is. I, the, I didn't till I met no, you. No, I want the lobster from Chai Wu as well. The fucking the deep fried one with the fucking honey garlic sauce on it. Don't should we just oh go Chai Wu now? Oh my god. I want Oh, I want KFC fucking... I want, I want all of it, man. By the way, Chai Wu, if you've not been in, you've got £300 to drop on a fucking... If you've got, if you've got some money if you've to spend some on money, some really lovely Asian Chai food. Wu, it's so nice. Chai Wu, and if you're out there listening to this, Harrods, it's in Harrods. Harrods, if you want to nice me and just give me loads more rewards... He'll, 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 doing, it, he'll do an Instagram story. Yeah, oh, please. Well, I, I mean, he's doing the most. because no, I feel <laughs> like oh, Chai Wu is one of them undiscovered gems. I took the boys it there. Is, yeah. And it, every time you go, it it's there. not really heaving. Yeah. It's on the top floor of Harrods, but oh my it's God. It's so good. It's really good. I actually asked you to take me back, didn't I? Yeah. I'm getting... Wagyu and it was stage. funny because he went, oh, well, we've got a troops meal with the boys. And I said, yeah. like, oh, where are you going? He's going to Chai Wu. And I said, but oh, I've been asking to go back there since like the first first year I met you. Like you took, took me there, one of our first few dates. And now uh, for like two whole years, yeah. I'm like, babe, please can we go back? And you'll go with the boys. Yeah. So we went back before did, the boys yeah. and then you went again with the boys. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, though. fuck. Oh, my God. It's oh. so good. Oh, I've got such a throbby about food right now. This is the you're seeing like um He's holding his willy. I'm so hungry. <laughs> All I can think about is food. Move around. No. <laughs> um what's your favourite colour? Uh <laughs> to wear or to Whatever you want to do with the colour. Hmm. Do you know what? I've never actually been a neutrals girl ever. Kinda mm. liking it recently. Yeah. You think I look good in neutrals, no? Yeah. Like, I think you look good in everything, babe. That's a lie. Yeah, he looks so lie. shit in red. He's a complete he lie. He looks awful she in think, red. She literally told me that before. Yellow's not really my colour. Oh either. my God, that top, I literally, um, I need to find a TikTok sound to do it too. What top? Because I do the washing. It's made my eye twitch. Oh my God. It stresses me out with this yellow top. Whenever I get a hint what of stress, top? I get an eye twitch. On my Brazil top? Yes. And it says Ronaldinho yeah. on the back. Yeah. Goated. Frying it away. No, you're fucking not. That is a classic shirt that costs a lot of money. You got it for free. Yeah, but it costs a lot of money. It's like a 200 quid shirt. I don't like it though. I don't give a fuck. That's what my mum and dad used to do to me. They, um, when I wanted to start wearing crop tops when I was like 14. Well, that's mad by the way, because 14 year olds nowadays would be way on that. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean, but anyway, when I was 14, I wanted to wear a crop top. I could never put them in the washer. I used to have to hand wash them because if I put them in the washer, they'd never come back out. Oh, nice. Don't do that to my... We're not doing your top. There'll be serious consequences. I might hold it hostage. No. Give me back. We should get headgear, body protectors, and when we've both had a bad day with each other, we spar. We don't even fall out that often. I think we should spar. He just wants to spar me. <laughs> I think we should spar. And I'll just jab. I'll just jab. jab fall out that bloody, jab, jab. what, twice a month? Yeah. And I'll just jab. I'll keep you away. But I feel like it'd be really vital. And then I'll, I'll jab a fake hook or to the body. we could go and spend it on a lovely, calm spa day where we no, hold do like hands yeah. and we say nice things about each other. Yeah, we we should do that. That that one near us that we went to before. I know, I've tried to put onto it. They don't want, let us want, come. I want to go there again. I, I want, want to get to in the pond. Tell me about it. I want to get in the pond again. Do you? Yeah. I like to go in the pond. I've got fond memories of that pond. Listen, let us back. Hey, they're I'll always say your fully name. booked. They're always fully booked and they don't respect the blue tick. Do they not? No, some people respect the blue tick, don't they? Eat, mate, and then they're the like, image. yeah, Ethan's like using blue tick because I called them, didn't I? I yeah. don't do this all the time, but this is the first time that I've ever done it. Do you remember? I called them and I said, hi, because I'd already tried like two, three times yeah. at this point. And Ethan don't have a lot of days off. No. And I was like, hi. Have you got any availability? Like, can I come in? Like, my partner, whatever. It's just the two of us. We don't want anything. Mm. We just want to, like, come in. And I was like, no, no, no. So I was like, oh, got to the, drop the blue tick game. And I got on the Instagram DMs, didn't I? And yeah. to be fair, they was a lot nicer than what they were on their phone. They were like, that. oh, unfortunately, we are actually fully booked today, but we can sort you out on, like, any other day. And then I t- messaged them, they were still busy, so. I've got a funny thing to talk about. And Ethan's like, blue tick, Riz. Go ahead. Um, 
The, our friend from the soft play has never reached out to us. Oh, yeah, I got aired. I got straight up air. Yeah, we, we put out She public, probably thought, what a public, psycho. If any of our friends did see that, then we, we should be mortified, really. Yeah, it was bad. That was quite embarrassing. Yeah, she just thought... We should be embarrassed. That, yeah, so that soft bitch. play friend, if you are out there, we are still looking for you. <laughs> no, not anymore. No, you got new friends. Yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good We've new uh, met some new people about Baby Sensor, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, and the, they said they watched the podcast. Yeah, they do actually so watch the podcast. If you're watching this, <laughs> hi. Uh, but we got baby friends. We have got baby friends. got baby friends. friends. quite cute. It's yeah, cute. We've got baby friends. So we need to do something with them soon. Because Cal Freezy still ain't, still ain't knocking them up. Vic Star ain't fucking put the decks down and put the dick in. Cal Freezy is just buying Cal holidays, by the way. He's actually sent just, his missus away. He's Even sent his missus like, to Mykonos. Yeah, he's literally He must paid. have done something bad. If you asked for like you and two mates to go to fucking Ibiza and pay for the whole lot, fuck off. Yeah. Not a chance. Unless I'd sinned. But I also said, because I come in and told you and I was like, because I put in our work I said I thought it was a joke. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Freezer, you're buying flights now. Me and Ethan want to go to Dubai in September. And he was like, me no English. Yeah. Um, so he just forgot English. Well, Cal um, Freezy, mate. You, yeah, you, you, yeah. And Ethan was like, what is he actually and I said yeah and even well, what has he done that for why has he sent the girls to uh to Mykonos and I said it's not cheap I know it's not no no it's not cheap they look like they're having a bloody great they're on a boat time. today I know they're having a six times there they go I know Mia's got bread so I don't know if like I'm it's a guy so I don't know if it's a guy Mia gets bread for brand deals you need to I'm your game me no Mia yeah Mia gets bread. yeah me at my game yeah I get brand deals that your fucking brand deals no you don't you do you, you got a little shitty online one Bro, listen to this, right? It's like three hours of his life. No, it wasn't I could do hours. in it wasn't fifteen hours seconds. It was an hour of recording a video game that I didn't have sure, to do anything sure, for. Sure, and it and made me nice that money. That brand deal that come in that I've just declined. Yeah, can't talk about it yet, no, but I might. It was good. Um, no. But, How good? No, really How good. good. But Mia's good? getting regular greats. So, no, but I, I don't know if Cal Freezy actually paid for all oh, of this. I don't know. I don't know if he paid for the hotel and the flight. I don't know what he's done. He's, I, I think it's I the guys. Said, I said he wants space at home. <laughs> You'd happily send me away. If you told me, you, if I got a week alone. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's a reward. Risk to reward. It's like a reward. <laughs> it's like a reward. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. But then... I'm no. actually really jealous. They look like they're having such a good time. It does look really good. It's a, it's a decent holiday, Mick and us. We went, didn't we? We did go. We went for our baby moon. Yeah, we did. We're actually trying to find a holiday destination for September, aren't we? I think it's probably going to be Dubai. You think? I think we're so. going to go. I think it's one of them ones where it's not like, it's not overly long. Yeah. Somewhere one in between. Because when we went Greece, it was just so rocky. And also, it was actually really hard to get What's good around. about Dubai is we could get the evening flight. Mm. It's like six and a half. Sleep. Yeah. But we because, got one of them. No, because they're three hours ahead. With, with the where you lie down yes never done that any before no no I'm um, not very well traveled so because you because Dubai's three hours ahead you can get the night flight fly through the night and land and be there like nine o'clock in the morning which is nice and it works for Olive as well because you could put her down on the plane mm. fingers crossed and hopefully she sleeps and still be just fine oh cool yeah no we should do it so Dubai That's works good. but then also I am petrified of screaming the 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 plane down. No, see, this is... For the, seven hours. is such a people pleaser, right? There's no rules. There is absolutely nothing on this airline that says kids can't come. There's no adult tickets to say this is a... Kids don't... Like, this is an adult-only flight and kids can't come. There's none of that. There is oh, no. absolutely nothing to say my child <laughs> cannot get on that plane and cry. There is nothing <laughs> oh, on that. You're right. Well, then, you're so right. if she cries, fucking grow up. However... Understand it's a child and say nothing. If, if I played six grand for my seat and I couldn't sleep, I'd be fucking raging. Yeah, well, that's just tough luck then, isn't it? Hopefully you'll have a better time next flight. Respect. It is what it is. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just so like, it is what it is. There's mm. a screaming child. Okay, it's a screaming child. Get over it. I do always just think, oh, am I, am I annoying someone else? He does all the time. I think, that's all I think about. Am I annoying someone else? Am I Ethan would literally make his life so hard. To actually put someone else first, wouldn't you? I'm a selfless person. As much as but people it'll be think, someone that he doesn't know. Yeah, as, pe as much as people think I'm like an actual arrogant. It's going to be me now. We've <laughs> we've switched roles yeah. now in this. I, in this I am episode. actually I'm quite selfless. I am quite you selfless. are, but it is a little bit annoying. Yeah, it's so annoying. No, it's inconvenient because again, like now he's sacrificing a whole holiday trip 
in case the baby cries. That whole trip, the memories you'll make will shit on that fucking baby crying on the plane. Yeah, you're right. Do you know what I mean? You know what? A whole week's worth of memories is worth fine. way more than a we, couple tears on the plane. We should go to Dubai because you want to go to Dubai. Be Habibi, come to Dubai. <laughs> yeah, I want, to, I want to shit in someone's mouth. You want to shit in... Have what you seen that? What the fuck has just gone on? Have you seen that? What the fuck? I want to shit in someone's mouth. <laughs> I don't no, actually, so by the way. Apparently, there's influencers in Dubai yeah, no, that just shit in people's no, mouths. No, they no, they get shit in. Uh, I don't want to do get that. shit in by the, the, the Habibis, say, hey, Habibi, come to Dubai. I'll pay you 10,000 really? to come to Dubai. And then in return, they get dookie done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, long day. I just pay for my own flights to Dubai. Absolutely. Yeah. If you want to go to Dubai, just firm up, save up. Just There's save no need to get shit. Save up. your bread. Oh my God. Just don't shock me. Is you that just the hear that? It's like the bell. I think the set's is falling that... down. Oh. oh my God, guys. I think the set's falling down. Uh, and that means it's time to rate this five stars so we can build a sturdy set. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into today's episode. It's been an absolute pleasure. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, like, subscribe, put us everywhere. Share it. Do what you want. Yeah, come on. Tell Send your us mums, all your nuns. dirty secrets, all your dirty laundry, all your problems. Let us air it. Let us air it out. Yeah, because we like to have a little chin wag about it. We do. Follow the Instagram. Come on. Subscribe to the YouTube. Follow it on Spotify. If, and, and again, if if there's something that you want to hear specifically on the podcast, send it in. It's we you can give us topics to talk. Let about. us know if you want more games as well. Like the we did who's smarter than a ten year old. We've done spelling bee. Yeah. Let us know if you want any other little quirky. Yeah, relationship we're, we're games. open to suggestions. We're here to please you. Yeah, we're like, so, we're like a vibrator. Uh, right. I'm not a vibrator. But I might be. Let's see you next. Wiggle time. into the clitoris. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>